telling uh, here not to sell you our products but to share with you what I think we can do together to deliver products that are functional and we we are a drug research company that's our primary role but then we can take these compounds and make protected finished products for you that are customized for you all the way to finished goods and to market and marketing helping you market them online I'm going to talk about inflammation because it's critical inflammation is the core chemistry of every single disease I don't care which disease you've got the underlying chemistry is inflammation different diseases require different drugs for treatment that affect these pathways called called the NF Kappa B signaling pathway this is the pathway that was central to my PhD work and it is the underlying chemistry for disease and the symptoms of disease so I studied it intensely in the context of curcumin now I want to show you with one model what we do and to the degree so you understand the differential turmeric you've all heard of turmeric roughly has three to six percent curcumin and everybody says turmeric has anti-inflammatory activity nah three to six percent curcumin is not going to give you anti-inflammatory activity but what you found as I said earlier we extract curcumin to get a 95 percent extract of the active component but it is made up of these three curcuminoids and they fluctuate and this one here never exceeds two percent concentration maybe three why is that important because curcumin 3 is one of my discoveries inhibits a protein called msk1 we're not going to go into the details nobody wants to hear about these details it's published in the papers it was a discovery msk1 is central to autoimmune disease some cancers but curcumin has been known to be a, 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 a compound that helps protect from cancer problem is most curcumin doesn't have that bdmc level high enough to deliver a result so we have shown in our research that's published curcumin 3 reduces this protein the other ones do not and i don't want to go into the detail but then we re-engineer the curcumin to lock that in see you're buying 95 percent which fluctuates it slightly every time we're locking it in at 30 percent because we know that's where it is active as an msk1 inhibitor you don't need to know that all that does for you is it works in two hours to deliver a result as anti-inflammatory most curcumins work in two days and you start to feel it and there's a there's a reason for it i can go into the details and it's all in here but i'm not going to go into the details it's published if you want to read it nevertheless the orac value how many people here have heard of orac value antioxidant capacity of a substance orac value of that bdmc elevated curcumin is in the 500,000s. regular curcumin is 9,000. inflammation and oxidation orac ORAC measures the compound's capacity to neutralize oxidation. We know oxidation advances aging and, 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 and the catabolism of tissue, but it also advances inflammation as inflammation rises in the body. All of us, as you age, your ability to control inflammation declines. The reason, is, the reason why you're stiff and hurting the day after riding a bike with your grandson or your son is because their capacity to regulate inflammation from that event is much better than yours and you're getting up with a sore back and sore legs because you can't recover but the countermeasure is the proper healthy anti-inflammatory that regulates that signaling mechanism it's called nf kappa b so if oxidation and inflammation go up together and propagate each other reducing both at the same time is a very powerful event not only for anti-aging not only for protecting connective tissue not only for allowing you to be active without the pain of that activity the next day, it is a substance that helps you re-engage in a lifestyle that's healthy. 14 times more effective in our work than ibuprofen and aspirin. The problem with ibuprofen is it works great. How many here have had to take ibuprofen or aspirin over a long period of time? And what happens to your GI tract in your stomach? You start to develop ulcers if you have to take it a long time. We have many doctors who have people with chronic tendonitis using NSAIDs for long periods of time switching over for two hours because of that mucosal lining damage so my objective here today and it may sound sales pitchy I've sold two companies and I'm using the revenue now to do what I do today because I like doing it I'm at heart I'm not a bodybuilder I love bodybuilding I'm a geek and I did bodybuilding as 
my own experiment and I realized that I'm just a geek that loves to understand the mechanisms at a cellular level of what happens. You give me a supplement, I want to understand what happens at subcellular. We have 14 patents that support cognition, that support focus, even for people who have ADD, that support inflammatory activity that's healthy, things that enhance ketogenesis to put you in ketosis, things that help switch the, the metabolic switch to have you burn fat as a primary energy source. There's one product called Thermal Burn, which is probably the best product we've generated and is doing such amazing um, things in the marketplace for people who want to manage their health and blood sugar and diabetes. What it does is it switches your body from being dependent on sugar, switching it to burn fat, break down adipose fat in the blood, in the, in the adipose tissue, release fatty acids into the bloodstream and activate brown fat. How many people here have heard brown, of brown fat? We all have brown adipose tissue that burns fat to make heat, but we lose it as we get older because we wear clothes. Infants have it on full tap, full, in, in full, full tap. And it encompasses the organs to protect the core of the body and make sure the core temperature is maintained. Okay? So we lose that because we don't need it as we age because we begin to learn the body adapts by shivering and we wear clothes. If you wear clothes, you don't need to adapt by heat. This is why cold plunge has become so popular. Cold plunge activates certain proteins, sirtuin proteins, and these proteins that activate brown fat to protect you from that cold that you're jumping into. It's an adaptive feature. But other things are happening in the cold plunge, and what we do is say, okay, which proteins are being activated? They're sirtuin proteins. And we go after the sirtuin proteins that are, that are, that are activated by genes and transcribed.